to another country. It's for the love of the game. Never EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Swift to start the drive. And now off to the races down the right side. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. They go play action with Hertz. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown, 40 yards. And the Eagles need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Prescott to throw it. Sliding out of the pocket. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. A second down throw for Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Prescott. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. That's caught at the 25. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll roll him out right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. On second down, it's Pollard. There's the stiff arm. 
And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Looking to throw, Prescott. Over the middle, held in by Lane. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. This looks like a free play for Prescott. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Now for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. But first down, Hurts. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys ends are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This offense thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially the skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. And from the 34, here's second and four. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now Dak, he's gonna mix it up. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Oh, they're changing this at the line. Prescott to throw on fourth. Left side to land. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down by a couple of yards. It would appear as they're able to convert on fourth and five. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Second down, powered again. And just a short game that time as they're able to get him down. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing, Prescott, flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. And now an audible here into something else. Now it's
it's a bootleg with Prescott rolling to his right. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone and that allows the defense to tighten up their coverage and they pick that one off. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Penny up the middle. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the markers. They'll stop him well short of the yellow line. Got to be careful here. They need to move quickly, but it's also fourth. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. They'll run with Pollard. And he is going to lose yardage here. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. To throw is Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott. 12-yard touchdown run, and the Cowboys have taken the lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14-7. to The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Inside handoff, Penny. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Hurts trying to hurry up the offense. On second down, here's Penny. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, Penny. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. And the tight end goes in motion left. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. He finds a 
his man complete. That's Watkins. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try to pick up bigger yardage. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. In motion comes the tight end left. Here's Hurts to throw. And that will be incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So the kick from here on a field goal would have been right at 53 yards. But instead, offense out there. They're going for it. They throw it out right complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Now Hurts looking to change the play. In motion goes the tight end. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Throwing his hurts. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Rashad Penny in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll have time for one play. It's two seconds on the clock. Final play of the half, Prescott. 
He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost a win here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. They'll run forward with Pollard. Oh, the defense right there to stop him. Did he get the yard he needed? He did, says the referee. Barely. First down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. It's caught inside the 25. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott dancing to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. And now they're in the hurry up. Play action now, Prescott. Forced out to his left. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Ooh, Prescott, he's going to change things up here. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they take a 17-14 lead. And they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive in the third quarter. But I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, consider that a win for their defense and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench hey the onus is on you guys now get back out there and get us the lead back that's what I love the run right there this guy's known for his quickness but also for his speed and he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking I always talk about slot receivers and they're usually known as quicker than fast in this case we've got a guy who's quick and fast and he used it to great advantage Right back to Swift again on second down. The gain of a yard gets him back where they started. Now it's third and ten. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out. Didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Now they'll change things around before the snap. They go play action with Hurts. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. The offense is going to stay out there. They've converted 
twice, failed once so far on fourth down. Let's see what's in store here. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Running right, it's Pollard. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Now Prescott. Being chased out left. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Here's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Ferguson. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Pollard will take it up the gun. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down today. Three for seven so far in this game. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jake Ferguson from six yards away. And the Cowboys are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. There he goes, left side. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, 73 yards. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Elliott good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now an option play on second down. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. 
this game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides. So I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's Anytime right. we that's have a right. defensive yeah. battle, but that, is, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play, and the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Looking to throw, Prescott. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Flush to his right. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Prescott looks to throw on first. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Complete. Pollard. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Here comes second down. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Dak. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. And Audible here to get a new look. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Now Prescott. Flushed out right. And that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackled for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Penny. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. They'll run again. And 
And he's got some space. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Yeah, they would have been happy with the first down, but this is even better. Once he's past the marker, it's cream cheese from there. And he bumps it to the outside, and it's just going to run away from defenders on his way toward the pylon. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. This is first and 10. Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be a first down as he's out of bounds to stop the clock. 15 seconds to play. Here's first down. To throw Prescott. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is taken in at the five. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with the clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. So this likely just to get the final score a bit closer given the time remaining, but they'll have a go for two here. Here's Dak. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So now with little time remaining, they'll have this and maybe one more play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.